Every year, October comes around, and every year, there's a new Inktober prompt list. And every year, I attempt it and f***ing fail. I never finish that shit. But I stumbled upon something that would change October for me forever. Cringe-tober 2023. This is right up my alley. Get ready. Throughout the month of October, Kelsey Animated will finish 31 drawings for Cringetober 2023. So yeah! <laughs> Out with Inktober, in with Cringetober, let's f***ing go! So up first on this list is hetero- hetero? I swear, I'm an ally. Guys, I swear. Heterochromia, which is uh, two different eye colors, and if you're at all any cringe like off the top of your head you're like every character i have literally has two different eye colors that's me however when i was like what characters do have heterochromia oh it's uh my baldur's gate character my tav if you will because she literally got a lobotomy like botched surgery like <laughs> botched lobotomy slay <laughs> this guy came at my eye with an ice pick and tried to get a bug out of my head. <laughs> but now I can see invisibility. So it's kind of a net plus, <laughs> but I thought it was funny. <laughs> so I started drawing my character and originally before the lobotomy, she also had heterochromia beforehand. It was subtle. It was pink and red eyes, so it's not like that cringe. <laughs> but it reminded me, this, so this is my first character, my first Tav, if you will. And immediately I was like, okay, I want to be a tiefling rogue. And I was like, hold up, back up. <laughs> Girl, take a look at yourself. The first Dungeons and Dragons character I made is Valak. And you know what she is? A blue tiefling and a rogue. So I was like, maybe, maybe I don't have to, <laughs> maybe I could do something new. So, but I didn't think about that until like later in the game when I found out that you could change your classes because I did make her a rogue. And because I made her a rogue, Asterion is rogue. So I didn't really need him in my party. So I didn't get a romance in for like half of act one. <laughs> if I do another playthrough, if I, I'm saying if, when I do another playthrough, I will not do that again. <laughs> this Tav, I named Kelso. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm so original, guys. This is literally a self-insert. Like, self-insert is literally the next prompt. I could have just drawn her twice. <laughs> but I made, instead of a tiefling rogue, I was like, let's do a drow rogue. My dark and fucked up version of an elf. Just a glimpse into my dark reality <laughs> please tell me you know what i'm talking about please <laughs> but oh my god doesn't she slay doesn't kelso slay so originally i started as a rogue and then i changed her class to warlock later on which is so f***ing cool i love warlocks i can't wait to play a warlock in a dungeons and dragons game all i do in baldur's gate is uh eldritch blast which is a spell. I hate having to explain this for people who don't know, but I feel like if you're watching my channel, you do know. Anyway, all I do is cast Eldritch Blast and kiss my vampire boyfriend. So it, 10 out of 10 game, honestly. <laughs> that reminds me, a lot of people make jokes about like, oh my God, all the <laughs> grinding I have to do in between my Asteria and gaming simulator. That's funny. Not only that, cause that is a very important part of the game. <laughs> I just, have never really been good at video games, but because I have a background, <laughs> I have a background. I played D&D for a couple of years already, so like all this mechanics and stuff that I already understood, and it's like a strategy-based game, and I feel so smart whenever I play it, because I'm not a gamer. Guys, every video that I post, I'm like, guys, I'm not a gamer girl. I am now. I This is the year that everything turns around. I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm so smart. I love strategy games. <laughs> the strategy games in question, just Baldur's Gate. But honestly, like the fighting mechanics, the story, like literally everything. I love this game so much. And I, I would play it so often that I would <laughs> 
play it all night. And then when I go to bed, I would literally have dreams of the game. Like, I was in the game. <laughs> With all the mechanics and, oh my god, chat, is this real? No, it's not. Girl, it's not your dreaming, you're delirious. Oh my god, it like ruined me, dude. Guys, can we talk about Baldur's Gate again, please? But, oh my god, I love playing... I love Kelso so much. I love being I love being a bitch in that game. <laughs> Whenever I'm like sassy and like being a drow in that game is really cool because they're sp they're like quote unquote evil, but I just use it as an excuse to be a bitch. And also my vampire boyfriend approves every time I'm a bitch. So like the cycle continues. <laughs> oh, anyway, besides Baldur's Gate <laughs> I think this Grinchober thing is like, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, okay? Can I, can I be real? Can I level with you? I'm going to have a heart to heart with you. I need you to pay attention. This is me bearing my soul to you. I don't know why I'm doing this. I never finish Oct like uh, Inktober ever. So far, I've done all seven prompts, like all the first seven prompts already. And I'm still like, oh my God, this is so fun, guys. <laughs> So, um, if you made it this far into the video, it, it's only like a couple minutes in, girl. <laughs> I encourage you to like do this along with me so I'm not alone. And I don't know if these prompts are supposed to be like ironic or not, but I'm definitely not doing that <laughs> because I love all of these prompts so far. I encourage you to do them with me. And then also let me know your ideas for like the next seven. So that way I'll know what the f to do because <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, this is Kelso, the warlock, drow. Oh my god, I love her so much. Did you know, I put in 200 hours into this game and I've never even left act two. Girl, <laughs> all I do is stare at a starian. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I like have to talk to every single character before I move on because how else will I know if they have anything new to say? <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Um, I like how I didn't talk about the drawing at all, but all I did was talk about Baldur's Gate and my character. That's all you really need to know. But I am, like, honestly, legitimately proud of how this turned out. I literally, I, I have it as my lock screen right now. I don't know why I'm putting this much effort into all these, because it's supposed to just be like a, a prompt list. Like, you don't have to do a full-fledged thing. All seven of these that I've done so far. Yeah, I lined and colored them. I'm crazy. Guys, help. <laughs> help. Help me. Day two, prompt two. Um, I didn't do like one drawing a day. You know what I did? I made all of these in two days. I was like, I don't take that long to like draw stuff, right? I'm like, I think I'm a pretty quick artist. And also I have ADHD. I'm impatient. If it doesn't look good first time, I'm over it. I, on average, a drawing would take two to four hours. Four hours long of footage. My computer went through hell and back rendering that shit. Are you kidding? And then I'll do something really simple. I'll be like, oh, I'll just do a little, little shading, little lighting here and there. And I'd be like, oh, that was fun. An hour. An hour and a half would pass. I am not as quick as I think I am. I think I just hyper focus in on it, lose track of time, and I'm like, wow, look at this beautiful creation I made. And it works. That's my process. I'm crazy. I got this idea on Saturday and I was like, I'll post it Monday. Girl, why did I think I could do that? Up to that point, when I got the idea, it was already a week. And I was like, yeah, I can do this. Uh, yeah, I think it's not that hard. But I did do it. I'm that bitch. Sometimes I'd be forgetting how long editing takes. Anyway, prompt two, self-insert. I had a lot of choices. I could do my My Little Pony insert. However, My Little Pony is another prompt. Self-insert, I could just do my Sona, but I draw them all the time, okay? I have to draw them for every YouTube video. Literally, there's a little me in the corner as a gif. Like, I draw them all the time. It's nothing new. Um, so I kind of wanted to avoid that. But then I remembered my spider Sona. Uh, because after 
the Spider-Verse came out, I was obsessed. Every single time, like, when they released the first movie, I was obsessed and made a spider sona and for, like, a month would only draw, like, Spider-Man. I'm not a big superhero person. I'm not a big, like, Marvel fan or DC or, like, it's just superheroes in general. However, I am a big fan of animation and art and beautiful (laughs) storylines. So when the Spider-Verse came out, I was like, this, this is everything. (laughs) And then I fixated on it for months. And that's the only thing I would draw. And then the second movie came out and I did the same thing. But then also add on a little obsession of Miguel O'Hara. Do I have have a thing for vampires? Uh, (laughs) Miguel (laughs) O'Hara. Sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I decided to do my spider sona because I was obsessed with it for some time. And then I quickly got over it. I say quickly. It was a couple weeks that I, it's the only thing I would think, breathe, talk. It's the only thing that was on my mind. And I was sketching some things out because I was like, ooh, spider sona. Like, doing Spider-Man poses and stuff is so fun. And the movies just give me so much inspiration. And like... How things move, how, like, it's literally changed animation forever. Cause like, oh my god, other movies like Puss in Boots and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and like all those movies are taking inspiration from Into the Spider-Verse and I'm so fucking glad. I keep getting (laughs) sidetracked. I kept trying to sketch out poses and stuff, but ultimately I just went back to one of my old sketches. (laughs) See, actually, um, I did this prompt twice because I did the first couple sketches and I was like, uh, I'm not really feeling any of these, but I'll finish this one because I guess I have to do that prompt. But then I was like, see, I'm low on time (laughs) at this point as well. Forget that. I was like, I am not very happy with this one. I think it's because my obsession has died down. So I'm going to take one of my sketches that I did while I was having this obsession, this phase of my life. But I didn't finish it because I grew out of the phase. And now I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. I'm crazy. But the inspiration has me. I'm I'm back in my digital art grind. Because personally, for me, I will get art block. People are like, Kelsey, how do you get rid of art block? I don't know. Don't ask me. However, <laughs> I do like to switch my mediums every once in a while. So like, I will go through a digital art phase for a couple months. Be obsessed with making like full pieces in digital art and then one random day i'll be like i'm over it <laughs> and then draw my sketchbook again so like <laughs> if you look at my instagram you will see this pattern of traditional art in my sketchbook just penned and like me being messy and then fully fledged finished pieces so um i'm gonna write this until i can't anymore I don't know what the other weeks of cringe-tober will look like, but this first week, I was on top of it. I don't know what demon crawled inside of my skin and is taking control over my- over my actions, but honestly, that could stay a little while if it's- if it's not too much of a problem, like... I don't know what kind of drugs I'm taking. No one sedate me. I am a drawing god. <laughs> anyway, spider Zona. My first one was okay. I don't know if you see my first design for spider Soda. She was fine. And when the next movie comes out, I'll probably redo my spider Soda then. Because if you can't tell from this character design, I really love Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> I love my vampire bitches. <laughs> anyway, this is my spider Soda. Also, real important information to add to the end here, because I didn't talk about this character at all, again! Um, (laughs) I made myself my uh, Spider-Man, and then also, in my Spider-Man universe, Joey is Venom, and we make out- SPOILER ALERT! (laughs) I thought that was cool, instead of just making him another Spider-Man, he's Venom. And I get to kiss Venom too. What? Day 3, prompt 3. Still, I've been- this is my third drawing of the day. (laughs) I did all this in two days. Um, day three was 
unnecessarily complex fit. And for me, an unnecessary complex fit means I have to draw armor. And I fucking hate drawing armor because I hate painting metal. I can never get it to look right unless it's like really simple, like jewelry. And I'm just really bad at it. And I was like, this is supposed to be a challenge. So I dug up one of my old sketches and decided to paint that because <laughs> I never finished it and I said that I would. And you may call it cheating, okay? But I call it like finally finishing things that I said that I would finish. So it's really nice just to not have a bunch of sketches in my computer. So I technically close up as armor. Okay, there's some spikes on her like arm bracers and like her shoulder pad, even her boots. Like <laughs> it's pretty complicated compared to how I used to draw her, which <laughs> it's honestly not that much different, but hear me out. Okay, so if you don't know, which, how could you not know who Kosif is? Kosif is my first D&D character. Now you may be thinking, Kelsey, in literally the first drawing that you did, you said that your first D&D character was Valak, a tiefling rogue. <laughs> in case you forgot. Um, yes, Valak is the first character that I made, but Kosif is the first character that I played. She was like my intro character to D&D. She was already made, basically. Like a character she i just i evolved her to how she is now like she didn't always used to be like this uh i'll show you one of the first drawings i ever did of her that was before i knew who she was i told my DD table about this while i was sketching this and i showed them their sketch and they were like this is a drawing like a fantasy drawing of a hot woman <laughs> that would be on the walls of a teenager's bedroom and i was like that is exactly what I was fucking going for. Let's go. I don't know if you know what a himbo is, but that's basically Kosif. She's also a boy um, <laughs> and a lesbian. A hey mama's lesbian. <laughs> but in the campaign that we're playing right now, it is the sequel to our first campaign. And we've only had like a handful of sessions right now. But it's the sequel and there's already all this lore and all these characters that we already love. And some of us retired. I say some of us. It's Joey. Joey's character retired because he was old. Um, but Kosef, she's a teacher. Oh my god. I literally said I wouldn't <laughs> info dump. But this is new. Guys, new lore. New lore update. Um, patch three just came up. We gotta update, guys. After the first campaign, there was a time skip. Now Kosef is a teacher. Some of the other characters retired. And... Uh, Kosef wants to go adventure again and be a badass. Slay. Exactly my motive too, girl. Let's go do some crazy shit. Tell me why our DM is throwing in, like, time travel into our shit? Bro, this last session fucked me up. We literally- we don't have this shit figured out at all. <laughs> we literally went through a time portal and saw the volcanic eruption that caused Kosef's like tragic backstory. I was like, what the fuck is going on guys? This is scary. Oh, I love it so much. Anyway, because we're doing like a time skip, I was like, Kosef's got to get some new, new fits, you know, which is basically her old fit with some added shit onto it. So it's more complicated, but it's still less clothing. Uh, <laughs> cause, cause, guys, that's just who she is. I, I don't want to see her abs all the time. Guys, it, it's what my character would do. And it is. <laughs> you don't have to play as a bard to be horny. <laughs> this is the drawing that took four and a half hours to make. And I, I didn't even sketch it. It would have taken me like a full nine to five to draw and finish this. Also, I have this one saved as a lock screen as well, because I think it turned out really good. While I was doing it, though, and you'll see later when I start doing the background and the shading, I was like, this is not hitting. But then I added an overlay of some paint texture, and it just pulled it all together. 
Also, threw some grain on there. I think it looks so cool. I also added a couple different versions. You'll see at the end. Uh, cause I didn't know which one I liked more. <laughs> Isn't she so dreamy? So on one hand, it is a very overcomplicated fit. On the other hand, she's also not wearing a lot of clothes. That's on purpose, guys, guys, I, I swear. I'm literally gonna hang this up in my office. Like I am the teenage boy that would have this poster in their room. Remember when I said we went through time portal and saw, you know, the volcano that changed my character's life. When we got there, we're on a, up on a mountain. It's snowing. It's really cold up there. It's winter time. Was it winter time before we went into the portal? Doesn't matter. It's cold. <laughs> Our DM was like, okay, everyone roll a constitution saving throw or you will get cold damage. And I was like, what? <coughs> Wouldn't I have advantage because now she has fur. <laughs> she literally has fur in her costume. So she would keep warm. Bitch, she is almost naked. Uh, so anyway, I did take cold damage. <laughs> Just kidding. My con save was high as shit. So the fur did help, I guess. You guys are wrong. Let her live. But isn't she slaying anyway? Anyway, <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this took so long to make. I really, I was struggling with like the lighting. Half of this is me just like f***ing around with settings, I feel. That's what it felt like. And like different hues. You see me playing with them. Cause like, I wanted it to look kind of like those old 80s fantasy arts. I don't know. I get them on my TikTok all the time, but it's all AI. Blech. Not a fan of AI, by the way. <laughs> I was like really struggling with the background. Cause first of all, I hate backgrounds. <laughs> and I really only like painting when it's like physical paint, like acrylic paint or even watercolor I'll take. But like digital painting is not my forte. But everything worked out at the end because of all the overlays. Thank God for overlays, guys. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> anyway, is it she's so dreamy? I also put giant on her sword and like made it glow in runes because she's a rune knight. Nerds, D and D nerds. She's a rune knight. Level, I think we're level eight. But I didn't know what to think to like put on her sword, like to have ingrained in it. Uh, it's in giant and it just says Kosov's big sword. So yeah. Uh, sorry. I love her so much. First of all, I love how she turned out. I will be staring at this photo for years to come. I'm gonna put it in Kosev's binder that I have to play D&D with her. So like in between turns, I can just stare at this and be like, yeah, that's who I am. Was this an overly complicated fit? Kinda. Was this an excuse to draw one of my D&D characters and finish a piece of artwork that I really wanted to finish and put it in this video. So I had an excuse to finish it? Yes. Two birds, one stone. You ever heard of that? Okay, sue me. I got a good lawyer, but I think at the time I was like, man, this f sucks. But then after those overlays and I started messing with like different versions and stuff, I was like, this hits so hard. This is the peak. This is peak cringe-tober. <laughs> and guess what? We're only at day three, baby. You got four more to go, bitch. Here we are, kind of halfway point. How are you doing right now? Are you still watching? Thank you. Oh my God. Why are you listening to me? I love you. Should we get out of here? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, day four, prompt four is angel and devil. And if you say that you have never had an angel devil, like OC ship, you're f***ing lying to me. These two that I'm drawing right now, his name is Judah. They're detectives. Do I know a plot for them? Absolutely not. Do I, do I ship them? Cause I know about the drama that would ensue of them working together. Absolutely. This is literally, cause I know my fan base. This is literally like hell of a boss, but with an angel agency and two devils that are trying to redeem themselves and become good guys but they're still pieces of shit. So there's, there's a little haha -ha, funny, funny comedy. Judah has to look over these two causing hijinks, but like he works over them, like have them under his wing, teach them the ropes, you know, 
good old detective buddy work. But the plot twist is, these two are trying to like, become good, quote unquote good. And Judah is like, reluctant to take them in. But plot twist, he himself would, was once a demon too and he got redeemed and now he became the best detective in the world. Girl, I don't know. It's like some weird ass commercial. Be like, <laughs> these two are devils. And they're... <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. He's an angel, but she's a devil. These two have to work together to, to redeem themselves. But knowing these two, things will never go their way. <laughs> you know, like, like they're a crime duo and they solve crimes. Guys, be honest. Chat, can we do a poll? Will this show get greenlit? <laughs> I have no plot whatsoever. Is this gonna get greenlit, guys? The the thought in my head, so Judah and Rita, that's a, the, the devil here. The plot in my head, let me explain it to you. So shut the fuck up right now. Um, <laughs> the only plot is that Rita and her sister Vita, they're twins. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, I'm just realizing all of my OCs are cringe. I'm gonna need a moment to think about this. I love them so much. But the sister, the devil sisters, <laughs> Rita and Vita, get into some wacky hijinks trying to become detectives. And that's literally all I have in my head. Honestly, for this drawing, I feel like this is Rita, but it reads more like to Vita's personality because there's this love triangle. It's not a complete triangle at all. Judd has a crush on Rita, and because she's a devil, maybe she needs to tease him or something, pull out his tie. This is so <laughs> cringe. This is literally, like, Cringetober was literally made for me. Anyway, they, so Judd, Judah, <laughs> comes. I love them so much, but... I feel like a 12 year old like explaining my OCs to you guys. Vita has a crush on Judd, but Judd has a crush on Rita. And Rita and Vita are sisters, but they're also devils. <laughs> guys, I, I'm i sitting here trying to explain a plot. There is no plot. I just wanted to draw an angel and a devil character. And I may be cringe, but I am free. In the land of the free. <laughs> anyway. I thought that this drawing was simple, right? Thought it was like running out of steam, especially after that of drawing. I was like, whew, we gotta dial it back. We gotta make it a little more cartoony. Um, this still took two hours. Huh? How did that happen? It doesn't look like it took two hours. It's my, guys, be honest with me, be real. Do I have a million different styles or can you just like, tell that it's mine like no matter how complex and and simple that i make it like are the foundations there like obviously it's still me it's like my handwriting like you'll be able to recognize my style but how the f do you do that because to me all of these drawings look completely different like as if another person drew them like i don't have body dysmorphia i have drawing dysmorphia are these guys am i delusional or is that coast of drawing really good. <laughs> Sorry, I keep thinking about her. I, I I, don't think that I have a consistent style. I, this one is just like a short little one. Uh, after that close of drawing, I just I died down. I was drawing all day. You know, I think this ended turned out really cute. I think, you know, because they're detectives, I think the handcuffs was pretty funny. A pretty funny haha -ha cookie. This was so indulgent, guys. This is why I love Cringetober. Because instead of drawing Dream for a prom, I get to draw shit like this again. Brings me back to my roots, you know? Ugh, oh, so good. Anyway, if you guys have a cool detective plotline that, uh, I could steal from you and, you know, give these guys some actual, like, proper lore that's cool, that'd be great. Um, but look at them. The little co-workers, little work thing, little will-they-won't-they kind of... Oh, is there an angel and a devil? Oh my god. Day number five. I haven't seen daylight in so long. I've forgotten the wind feels like. 
<laughs> Day five. Um, the prompt was MS Paint. And you're going to see me struggle here. So back when I was an artist, like first starting out, I would literally, you know how I started drawing like digital art? I would steal. <laughs> Guys, I'm a thief. Not a felon. Uh, it's just a misdemeanor. Misdemeanor? I hardly know her. I stole. <laughs> I would steal uh, bases, like my little pony bases, okay? And uh, I would color over them in MS Paint. And I was good at it. <laughs> I mean, everyone knew that I did bases and stuff, except because I would post them on Facebook. <laughs> I'd post them on Facebook. Nana had no idea, brother. I was stealing and just drawing over it to do my self-insert for My Little Pony. And now I'm here. Nowhere else to go but up, baby. Because I started drawing out in, like, MS Paint, I was like, oh, Slay, this is gonna be easy. Uh, it looks so different. <laughs> Guys, I feel old. Why do I feel old opening up MS Paint? Um, it's got all these new brushes, so I was like, oh, Slay. I will use these brushes. I will do something simple. Do I will do something simple. I will draw my like YouTube Sona just cause it's easy and the prompt is this medium so it doesn't matter what I draw. I was tired as hell at this point. I was like, I'm gonna do something easy. I'm gonna try some of these new brushes that they have. And I started coloring things in and I was like, this looks so bad. And I thought it would be easy. Because I would use MS Paint all the time. I knew it. It's changed. Times have changed, man. War never changes. I was like, just trust the process. The more you render it, the more time that you put into it, the better it's going to look. It's going to come through. Just like that cause of drawing, the background. God, I bring her up all the time. That's really, honestly, peak. <laughs> Guys. I was like, the more you, you f*** around with it, it's going to turn out. And, and it won't look so ugly. And then, just like that, I was like, wait. I have to put more time into this. Okay. Uh, let's forget this whole f***ing thing. I'm not painting. I'm not rendering out an image. Okay. I I like the fill bucket tool. I'm going to f***ing use it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, what? <laughs> I, I gave up on my persona because I was like, if I'm... If I'm just gonna use the fill bucket, then I wanna do something kinda cool, like a silhouette, yes! And who other than to silhouette than Valak? Because I love Valak, I've already talked about her. <laughs> if you don't know, if you made it this far, you do know Valak. Uh, and if you don't, see you my friend, you character. Guys, somebody's just gonna shoot me in one of these days. Oh. I can't believe you're still watching this. I'm so excited that I've done all these prompts. Anyway, back to Valak. She has psionic powers. So I wanted to do something a little cool, a little flashy. It's very simple, okay? I just did a little bit of lighting and I made her eyes like bright yellow because I think it looks cool. And it was just really, I don't want to say it was really easy and I don't want to say I copped out, but like I did get hung up on the end right there. Just because I was like, ooh, this red eye in the background. Should it be red? I kept going back and forth. It looks better when it's red. I, I don't know. I think just because it's like the primary colors and the black silhouette. I think it, it turned out a lot better than I think that first drawing was going to. Because uh, I don't want to f***ing render that. <laughs> I think this turned out better. And the fill bucket tool, my best friend. Phil Bucket Tool has a thousand fans. I'm one of them. Phil Bucket Tool has a hundred fans. I'm there. Phil Bucket has one fan. It's me. If the Phil Bucket has zero fans, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, we'll see what day six brings. <laughs> it wasn't day six. Actually, it's still day one. Because I'm crazy. Guys, we're in the long stretch. It is Prompt six, day six, and our prompt is free. This couldn't have come any time sooner. You know me, I'm a big fur ball. <laughs> I'm the furriest. I love my fursona, and I made it long ago. 
Guys, why is Cringetober literally made for me? For every single one of these prompts, I have a different f***ing character. And I'm taking all of these very seriously. I don't know if you're supposed to, like, I don't know if these are just supposed to be like, oh, do an ironic, like, cringe drawing. I'm not. None of this is ironic anymore. This is my life. <laughs> but this is my persona. And it's a raccoon. And, and every once in a while, the, the furry demon inside of me, <laughs> in the back of my skull, trying to crawl its way out of my head, is the furry inside of me. And as soon as I read this prompt, just immediately ate my, <laughs> what, what is it called? Your brain stem. And my cerebellum. <laughs> and I'm so glad. My thought is, if I was an animal, I think the reason... Okay, you want to know the reason why I made a furry in the first place? It was because Zootopia came out. And if you didn't think to yourself, Huh, if I was in Zootopia, I wonder what kind of animal I would be. That means you're a furry. <laughs> and that's what made me a furry. Guys, I'm not a furry for real. And I thought to myself, well, I can't be a house cat because they're all like wild animals in Zootopia. It's not like a, a pet dog that you can be. You, you gotta be like a wolf or something. So I was like, instead of a cat, I feel like I give trash panda. Like, I'm serving rabid animal going through your trash. I am not a girl boss, but a girl slob. And raccoons are so cute. You see them, they're like big fluffy little guys that can't eat cotton candy because they don't understand that it dissolves in water. Silly raccoons. My raccoon doesn't play with cotton candy. <laughs> My cotton candy, bombs, guns, ammunition, dynamite. <laughs> uh, recording this, I'm really tired. <laughs> I've been trying to get this video out. I'm gonna have to push it back another day. Uh, anyway, whenever I draw, cause like sometimes I will get the urge to be like, I just want to draw a funky little guy uh, with ears and a tail. Okay, gnawing on my brainstem. It's back there. It's rabid. Anyway, my furry, my persona, I made because of Zootopia. And then it happened again when Sing came out. I was like, oh my God, I'd be a raccoon in this movie too. But I wouldn't sing. I'd do... I'd bomb the theater. I don't know why I find bombs so funny. I just wanted to draw a goofy little cat guy, you know? And I drew it in one of my outfits that I think give Trash Panda very much. And... <laughs> I don't know. Guys, this is my authentic self. This... This cat... This is me on the inside. But every once in a while, yeah. I'll just feel like... Like drawn in a, like a cartoony... Usually it is... Like a cartoony style. Cause, cause furries are from cartoons, guys. I don't know if you knew this. Guys, new, news alert. Furries really like animation and art of animals. You know, warrior cats? Yeah, but on TV. I've never read warrior cats, but I feel like if I could read back then, like if I ever learned how to read, <laughs> I would have had a blast with it as a child. I saw a TikTok saying that Warrior Cats was basically the Game of Thrones for like elementary school. And I was like, I kind of, I wish that I was like on that scene because I feel like I would have loved it. However, I didn't learn how to read until recently and I barely know the alphabet, guys. <laughs> I need to steady up some. So I, <laughs> I made a video a while ago where I was like, oh, I'm going to redesign and like, I'm going to draw myself a fursona because I don't have one. Lying. I was lying. Hand on the Bible. I was lying. This is my original. I have not once drawn that cow fursona that I did for the video. I never use her. When I hear, Kelsey, draw your fursona. This is what I think of. This is the better representation of me. I can't tell you why. I Maybe a long time ago I did a BuzzFeed quiz. I don't know. Guys, do you think... A raccoon or a cow represents me more. Because I did a cow because I'm a Taurus. But honestly, raccoon, me, cat me, so cute. So much cuter. I don't know why. Guys, I totally can't rig me from the regular show. Sidebar. Oh my god, if you don't know what kidding is, you don't need to know. I was back on Tumblr when that was a thing. Like, it was a bad thing. <laughs> and... 
people were taking it like so seriously. Do I still participate? A little, but more like, I I'm not gonna explain myself to you. Here in this essay, I will be explaining all of my behavior <laughs> and consequences of my actions. I don't understand it. I still don't. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so toony. So, so cute. Uh, if I could, I was gonna say, if I could be a furry artist, I would. I don't think I would. God, is I, I was immediately like, your, my own mind is gaslighting me. You would not do this. You are lying to yourself actively in this moment right now. I don't know why furries get so much hate. There are a lot of, I have a lot of furry friends, guys. I am a furry, but only seasonally and only in certain circumstances. <laughs> like right now for this prompt. This day, day six, I'm a furry. Every artist I know definitely has a fursona. Like, at least in some way, like vaguely, like, <laughs> tell me, tell me I'm not wrong. Tell me I'm normal. Everyone does this. It's been a long time since I've actually drawn uh, my fursona and I always used to draw them in a certain way, but like, I've been on Pinterest. Honestly, I think my fursona's design has improved because I like when they're not fully animals. I guess that makes me more furry than like on the furry spectrum. How far do you go? <laughs> me personally, I like the middle, right in the middle or like human girl with cat ears. You know, as soon as you get to the animorph, I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, isn't she cute? Isn't, isn't she slaying? I think it's so funny. <laughs> and I made her say I have a bomb. Bro, <laughs> why is that so funny? If you're watching this right now, I need you to comment that you have a bomb right now. <laughs> Guys, is this gonna get, am I gonna get demonetized from that? Don't comment that. Say I'm a furry instead. Please, stop typing. Stop typing, just say you're a furry. Chat, it's almost over. You're suffering will finally be at an end. <laughs> this is day seven, prompt seven, which is Pinterest art base. Now me personally, when I downloaded Pinterest and started using it, I, I understood. I understood my mom. I understood everyone. <laughs> I can't believe it took me so long to like create a Pinterest and like scour it for hours. Oh my God. All these new apps like Formerly Twitter, Instagram, Meta, like all this shit. Everything keeps changing. I hate it. Pinterest has not changed a single bit in like years. And I don't want it to change because it's perfect the way that it is. And I love her. The feminine urge to scroll Pinterest for hours and then think of all the projects you want to do in your head and then never do any of them. I love Pinterest. If Pinterest has <laughs> a thousand fans, I'm one. As I was looking for like art bases, because you know my history with art bases. Uh, steal, steal, give me, give me mine. But I found this one as I was scrolling and I noticed my thing is like, I would use bases for like couple stuff, you know? So I knew that I had to draw a couple. And when I was looking at like all the bases, there is such a trend of like <laughs> height differences that are like a little f***ing suspicious at times. Like, it will big strong man and and little little girl. Like, what the f*** is that? Like, I see, like, I understand the appeal, but some of these are f***ing taking it way too far. It's so... Are they love interests or is that like their child? Like some of them are really f give me the creeps. They give me the ugh, ugh. just because the size difference is like so intense. So I was like, okay, well, I gotta find one that like I think will be good. Personally, I love the one that it shows. I think it's I think it's funny. I think the height difference is not weird. <laughs> um, I don't know why I think the height difference is weird. You know what it is? I like a height difference. I don't like a size difference. I think that's, I think that's where I draw the line. Like, I want you guys to have the same size of head. And when I was looking for bases, I literally saw, I literally saw a base for like, like a small person, like a fairy with no wings. So it was just a person in someone's hand. And it was like suggestive. I was like, what the f Emma, what side of Pinterest am I on? Please help! 
So yeah, not a big size difference fan, but a height difference I can get behind. Because Desmond has these really long legs and his boyfriend is 5'2". <laughs> and I think that is funny. I was like, what characters do I have that have like a, a pretty big height difference? I know. Characters that I drew six years ago. That. <laughs> That's who should fit this base perfectly. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just now realizing I have so many OCs. They're not Homestuck OCs, okay? I never got into Homestuck. Sue me. I know a lot of people think that I was, but I'm not. I'm here to put the record straight. I was never into Homestuck, but every time I drew these guys, I would get comments like, Oh my god, this reminds me of Homestuck. Shut the f*** up, please! But honestly, like, looking at it, like, I see it very clearly. I'm in denial. I made them as, like, just demon OCs. Because I was cringe. And I was edgy. And I feel like I talk about them on my channel a lot. But the one in the blue hoodie is Desmond. And the one with the red horns is his boyfriend, Bo Boy? I didn't name him Boy. Ah, oh, f***. What did I name him? <laughs> Originally, his name is Boy. But, like, you know that. You know, back, way back when, in the way back, people would say, <laughs> boy. Oh my god. Oh, I literally got chills. Guys, that's a sign. I need to not do that. Side note, I just remembered that I was a band kid. Oh, guys, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Slay, I was second clarinet. Anyway, but when people would say, do that stupid boy meme, they would type it, they would spell it out as B-O-Y-E. Or, I, actually, it was B-O-I to, to add that little bit of spice to it, I guess. So that's exactly what I did when naming this character. Because I was like, boy, that's so funny. Uh, it's not funny anymore, and I changed it to Bo, because uh, I think it fits him better. And it's not as funny. And cringy but they're boyfriends and six years ago when i was doing animation memes i i literally have the reference up in the in the corner i did the legs meme if you were in the loop you know what i'm talking about <laughs> what's on the menu legs slay desmond was serving legs <laughs> but i was like man no one knows what who these ocs are i've never i never post them i have i literally have a youtube meme about them so every once in a while i just have to draw them because i miss them i cycle through all of my ocs you know like every once in a while the stars would align <laughs> and i would draw my my hamster characters again <laughs> I, I could tell by my references that I got, went through phases. I feel like Bo went through a lot of designs. I even changed him up a little bit here. A little homage to the original a little bit more. Because I was like, he's not this cringy Homestuck looking guy anymore. He's this edgier Homestuck guy. <laughs> but I didn't like that. And usually when I draw Desmond and Bo together... <laughs> Literally, I named the file name Desbo. That's a ship name, guys. <laughs> when I draw them together, I always draw like Bo has like this fiery personality. <laughs> He's like the small, angry man. Oh my god, these OCs are cringe as f my little small bean. Guys, someone needs to come put me down peacefully. I'm gonna need a McDonald's double cheeseburger. I'm gonna need a walk around my favorite park, and then we're gonna take a fun little trip to the vet, and you're gonna look me in the eyes while you see the life drain out of my eyes. And then you cremate me, and then you keep me in your pocket, pocket sand. <laughs> what am I talking about? Are all of my OCs this cringe? That's what cringe tellers for, but Bo is like the small, angry one, and Desmond is like the tall, quiet one. You know, the ship dynamic? Yeah, that, it's literally that I'm him. But I know a lot of you guys really love Desmond because he's such an old character. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look at my Instagram and I'm gonna see what day I created Desmond because it's gonna, it's gonna shock you. The results will shock you. Don't click away. Guys, it was 2015. I made this OC when I was 14 years old. Huh? Yeah, and it shows. It's so crazy how I feel like 
<laughs> I can't ever escape my old OCs because I just will redraw them and be like, I don't like their design anymore. This is who they are now. Uh, and then I do that every other year. But it's so crazy. <laughs> crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rat. Oh my god, guys. It's so crazy to see how, like, over time these characters, like, evolve. And, like, how much I change. But, like, they're the same guy. Like, this guy has been with me since 2015. Are you kidding? I love this little guy. Oh my god. I remember when I was first doing digital art, I wanted a lock screen of Desmond because I loved him so much. I loved him. I the past times you don't love him anymore? Of course I do. But now, I'm really obsessed with my D&D &D characters. There's, like, maybe a handful of you that remember me from back then. Which is so f***ing crazy. You stalker! You're a stalker! <laughs> That's so f insane. Anyway, whenever I draw my old characters, I get that little bit of nostalgia. That 14 year old me inside me is like giggling, kicking her feet, you know, watching this beautiful art of her old characters. Like, oh my god, it's- I'm literally giving my past self free fan art. If you think about it, like, if you girl math it, I'm literally getting free fan art of my character that I drew. <laughs> I love being an artist. <laughs> She's in my head. <laughs> she's always there in my head and she's like uh i love my my little gay bits oh ah! as much as i would try to rid of cringy ass 14 year old me or like all of middle school me uh, she is still inside me she's the one that <laughs> she's the one that won't let me forget these characters because i love them too much i really like how this one turned out and you know what that's it chat it's over now I have to do this all over again for the next week. Oh my god. I think this first week turned out really good. Okay, I cheated a little bit using old sketches and like <laughs> trying to make personal art be a prompt with a big stretch, you know? <laughs> but we don't talk about that. I did that. I finished all of these and I'm very proud of them. And when I watch this back in a year, I probably won't be so proud of them. But I... I am so ready to finish all of Cringetober. And I'm fucking gonna have to be, because I have to do this in another two days. I'll have a few more days to finish it. But I will see all of you next week. Uh, if you're doing Cringetober, I think that slays. I would love if more people did this, because it is so fun. Even though Cringetober was made literally for me. I should be the only one to enjoy it because I haven't seen like a ton of artists like doing it. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of social media. I mean, of course I'm on the wrong side. I'm looking at Pinterest bases for like fairies. <laughs> Dude, that- I'm sorry. That was so f***ing weird. Sorry to bring it back up again. What the f*** was that? <laughs> Whatever. Forget about it. One last hoorah. I'm going to put the prompt list here at the end in, in case you want it. Uh, thank you to the creator of Cringetober and this, uh, the creator of this prompt list. I love it! And hopefully this energy that I have will not, will not be going anywhere anytime soon for the month of October. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping, I'm, pr I'm on my knees begging for this motivation to not leave my system. Because I want it and I need it and I crave it. And I'm thriving on it! Anyway, I will see you guys next week for the next seven prompts if you have any ideas specifically for the next seven prompts let me know in the comments below because i will be reading them um but i will see you next week okay love you bye <laughs>